Hi, this is Dr. Victoria Nalule. I'm a research fellow at the Extractive Hub based at the Center for Energy, Petroleum, Mineral and Policy at the University of Dundee. Here with me is Ms. Chine and Mr. Jide from Nigeria. And our focus today will be on investments in the mining sector of Nigeria. But before we start on this discussion, I would like Ms. Chine and Mr. Jide to briefly introduce themselves. Thank you, Victoria. Hello everyone, my name is Chineo Kichuku from Nigeria. I work with the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative in Nigeria and also a hub champion for the Extractive Hub. I work in the technical department of the Nigeria EITI and presently overseeing the mining desk. Thank you, Victoria. My name is Jide Aroshai. I work with Nigerian Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative. Uh, I'm, also the, I'm also a hub champion for Nigeria. Um, I'm the resource disbursement uh, officer uh, and as well as procurement in Nigerian Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative. Uh, thank you very much for the introductions. So today's question is rather a narrow one and I just want to ask what the government of Nigeria is doing in order to keep the investments flowing into the mining sector. I'll start with you and then afterwards Chide could also give us uh, um, his views on the same issue and we shall do the concluding remarks. Interesting question from you, Victoria. Thank you so much for that. You know, a lot of people hear about Nigeria and it's very instinctive to think you're going to hear about the oil and gas sector in Nigeria, but we came with a different perspective this time and that's our mining sector. Nigeria actually started doing mining as early as 1901 and as a then we had the British take over as in they were basically the ones running the mines. In the early 1970s, Nigeria decided to bring in a new policy which in hindsight actually did hurt our mining sector. And also with the oil boom, a lot of revenues were coming in from the oil sector and we forgot about our mining. With the advent of democracy in Nigeria in 1999, the government that came in in 1999 at the advent of democracy decided to look at diversifying the economy. But if you remember, that in 1999, there was still a lot of petrodollars still running and the price of oil was still high. We had our mining act put in place in 2007, and we also had a lot of guidelines for exporting minerals with explosive acts. And we're using quite a few outdated um, mining laws and, and guidelines. We also had a dirt in terms of capacity building. We didn't have, we, we, we had the resources, but we didn't have the technical know-how for people to be able to harness the resources we had. Most of the mining that was done in Nigeria around that time was mainly artisanal and in very, as in, and very, very small scale and a lot of illegal mining. In 2016, with the advent of the new party, um, government we have who are running their second term right now, they decided to do something about diversification of our economy because we went into a recession as a con country and also the price of oil started going down. So what, what did the government of the day decide to do? They decided to set up a, a mining stakeholder committee. You know, it consisted of a lot of people to put in place a framework and a new roadmap to basically grow this particular sector. They came in with like six thematic areas in terms of mineral and sector, capacity building, industry participation, you know, the regulatory framework and all the works. And I would say that since then and to present day, in fact, right now in Nigeria, Nigeria Mining Week is going on from the 14th to the 16th of October. And it's, it's also going to open a lot of doors and there'll be more updates on what's being done. There are a lot of reforms being done. We've had it, we had issues with our geological data, which have been so outdated. But right now, in terms of the reforms, the British Geological Survey has agreed to give us back most of the data we had in the past and also support us in being able to interpret those data and carrying out new surveys. Also, government has increased the budgetary allocation to the mining sector. And with that, the revenue that has been coming to the mining sector has also been improved. We've also, we also have a $150 million loan from the World Bank under the main diver to basically improve the sector. A few of the provisions of the Mining Act were not being met by the government and that has been done now. The government has released 13 billion naira to improve the sector. We also have the Solid Minerals Development Fund, which is one of the things that was expected from the mining sector. That is in place now and that particular fund has its members in place and a lot of work is being done to, to steer the industry. 
we also have partnership with the OCP of Morocco because Nigeria has a large phosphate deposit in one of one of our troughs. They're here to come and help us harness the potential of our phosphate. We also have a lot of deposits in terms of lead, zinc. We have a large deposit in terms of lead and zinc and we're going into a lot of partnerships in terms of our ASM trying to ensure that we get the ASM people to be in clusters to be able to operate as operatives, cooperatives so that we can have the gemstones, the gold and the rest of things that the you know, we have illegal mining takeover to be able to get revenue from them. I know that Ethiopia is also doing something in terms of how they handle their ASMs and Nigeria is looking at trying to either model that or, you know, do something that is best for our own society. With the reforms, a lot is being done to put the sector in place. The only problem we have is that we've not gotten to that tipping point of making sure that the investors come in and we just need to do better. By the time, um, my colleague Jide is going to speak more about what the government is doing in terms of trying to make investors know what we have, the potentials we have, and so that we can get much more revenue from the mining sector. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chine. Um, I would like to talk more on the reforms that are being put in place. Uh, government is making concerted efforts in pushing so many bills uh, at the National Assembly uh, that is ongoing. Uh, so many partnerships, uh, like government is partnering with uh, Australia company to develop the uh, gold sector, um, also the uh, Russian company to develop the steel sector. Um, another aspect that uh, government is making effort in is to also provide funds, make funds available to uh, the small and artisanal scale uh, mining minus uh, so as to to enhance the the better performance and get uh, what called the necessary revenue that is due to the government so other aspects that are also in place is uh, uh, government intervention fund uh, whereby you know the sector has been uh, underfunded in the past and the uh, government recently uh, marked over 30 billion naira uh, as a Solid, I mean, in part of developmental fund for the uh, sector. Also, the issue of uh, um, making the in industry better in area of uh, data. Uh, there's so many um, uh, automation that is going on at uh, mining industry office, where whereby you know government is looking forward to woo the investors uh, to get necessary. Uh, in knowledge of the uh, of the mining sector, uh, whereby I'm prov providing uh, area maps where these uh, minerals are being buried. So Nigeria is open to investors, uh, uh, whereby we we urge everyone to come to Nigeria, look at how this resource can earn and also generate fund uh, to Nigeria economy. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Chide and Chine, for this discussion. I must say that this is a very unique discussion considering the fact that when we are talking about Nigeria, most people focus on oil and gas. Myself, I didn't know about the mineral depots in the country. And I'm so happy that you've opened eyes for different investors and also for other people who would be interested in the mining sector in, in Nigeria. Uh, this being a short video, I will not ask follow-up questions, but rather I will leave it up to the viewers to ask us any questions they might have. So feel free, I'll be displaying their contact details. And also you can pass on your questions through the Extractive Hub and you'll be well assured that you'll get a response from both of them. So stay tuned, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, podcast, and also visit the Extractive Hub website for more videos and interviews with respect to energy and mining from different experts. Again, thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for this discussion. I'm sure many people now will pick interest on the mining sector in Nigeria. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.